In this video, we are setting up an Autogen team from scratch that is designed to analyze car damage based on images. We'll configure agents who will identify the car brand and the necessary spare parts from the image. Additionally, we're integrating an agent that will eventually be capable of checking part availability in a database. Another agent in our setup will be tasked with composing an email to the customer, completing the end-to-end -end process. As always, we begin by first creating a virtual environment to keep the dependencies cleanly separated. Then we install Autogen and Pillow, which we need for image recognition. Next, we create a file named app.py and import Autogen. After that, we set up the configuration for the Autogen agents. We load this configuration from a JSON file named oiconfiglist. This file must be located in the root folder. In the configuration, we specify the model as GPT-4 Turbo, the most powerful current model from OpenAI, and we provide our OpenAI API key, which we find in the OpenAI member area. Subsequently, we create a second configuration for our GPT Vision agent. The special feature here is that we use GPT-4 Vision Preview instead of GPT-4 Turbo. This enables us to process and evaluate images later on. The great thing about Autogen is that every agent can have its own underlying language model. Then, we create a user proxy that can execute functions and manage the process. The user proxy in Autogen acts as a bridge, channeling tasks and requests from users to the right agents within the system. The next assistant is the inventory manager, responsible for managing the inventory and providing information about the availability and price of spare parts. In the next part, we'll link the agent directly with a database. Until then, as we set up the actual data connection, it will default to responding that everything is available. Additionally, it also needs a configuration, and we specify the standard GPT-4 Turbo configuration. Our second assistant is the customer support, responsible for composing emails to customers and later the actual sending of these emails. In Autogen, we can map any action achievable with code to these agents through function mapping. This capability allows us to use code for practical tasks like sending real emails or storing prepared emails in Google Sheets. Before the agent starts composing, it must wait for confirmation from the inventory manager that the parts are available. Since this is the last step in our process, we also tell it to respond with terminate when it's done with the email. Next, we create the group chat, which should include all agents, meaning the user proxy, the inventory manager, and the customer support agent. And we start with an empty messages array. Then we create a group chat manager, assign it the group chat, and the standard configuration. The Autogen group chat manager is a chat manager agent that orchestrates group chats with multiple agents, ensuring efficient communication and task distribution among them. Now we can initiate the chat, the manager is responsible, and we give it a precise process to follow. First, the damage analyst should identify the car based on the image, what brand it is, and what the requested spare part is. To do this, it should check if anything in the image is central, stands out, is broken, or is missing, for example, stolen tires. In the second step, 
the inventory manager should verify that the spare part is actually available, meaning it needs to check the inventory database. In the third step, the customer support agent should then compose an email, and step four consists of concluding the process with the word terminate. We also give it the image reference, which is a picture of a broken Tesla display. Let's give it a try. The process has now begun. The user proxy is transferring the task to the chat manager. Based on the image name, the inventory manager assumes it's a screen and confirms its availability. In the next step, the customer agent composes an email. Already pretty impressive, right? Now, however, we actually want to use a picture from which the name does not indicate which part is damaged. Here we have a nice picture of a broken Tesla bumper. Let's put our system to the test with this image where the file name doesn't reveal any details about the actual damage. Again, the inventory manager will say that the spare part is available. That's no surprise because it has no access to the database yet. Unfortunately, we see that the email does not directly refer to the part because it simply doesn't know what it is. We want to improve that by creating an agent who is capable of recognizing images. For this, we create the Agent Damage Analyst. To engage with a multimodal conversable agent, we first need to import it from Autogen. Multimodal conversible agent can process images with GPT Vision. It gets the persona that it is responsible as a damage analyst for precisely describing the image or its contents. We provide the damage analyst with a system message, instructing it to accurately describe the contents of the image. The message emphasizes the need to respond only with what is visually evident, without incorporating any additional information or making assumptions. We give it the configuration for GPT-4 Vision Preview and set the max tokens to 300, so that it can create a detailed response. Then we add the new agent to the group chat. And now we can start again. We see that the damage analyst has wonderfully recognized that it is actually damaged to the bumper and that it also sees scratches, etc. The inventory manager acknowledges and confirms that it sees that the bumper and other parts of it are affected and says that all parts are actually available. Now the customer support agent can also compose a suitable email referring precisely to these spare parts. In the upcoming parts of our tutorial, we will further enhance our Autogen setup. We will provide the agents with access to a real database to check the availability of spare parts. This will be seamlessly integrated within an auto repair shop's webpage. Additionally, we will enable the system to actually send the composed emails to clients, completing the circle of automated customer interaction and service facilitation. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on new videos. Also, for the complete video series, make sure to visit AIfordevs.com.